desert night was born to fight So I'm gonna try and get back on a schedule sort of of uploading videos and recording again because I was bad for like the last two days and I didn't do a damn thing really but I just got back on the road and I am now headed back out west I still have yet to make it out of Louisville I've gone about 10 miles since my parents house but I figured I would get some footage from here as well so for everybody that didn't know, which is basically everybody, uh, I'm in Louisville right now and this is where I spent my high school years basically, but you get beat up if you call it Louisville. It's actually called Louisville. You gotta pretend like you have rocks in your mouth or, uh, or you're not saying it right. I told you I wasn't making that shit up. You gotta say Louisville. I told you. What the fuck is ski? So like I've said a million times before, I got some root beer uh, that is made here in Illinois and that's where I'm at. So let me try this one right quick. It's pretty festive. I don't know why it's called the Frosties. It looks like Santa Claus or something on the bottle. That is honestly probably, I know I've said this a lot, but honestly that's I think the best one I've had yet. And it don't look like much, but there's Casey's in the background and this is their pizza. Ooh, but I miss a pizza! So I just got out of my car, because I had to go get my phone, because I left it on the trunk of my car. That would have been second time that's happened. This is how real root beer fiends uh, drink their soda. They actually dump it in to a styrofoam cup there. So did the cops can't tell. See, now no one knows I'm drinking root beer. Oh. It's hot, but what a beautiful day in sunny St. Louis. That's why they named me uh, Alan Christopher Columbus David Minshaw. But St. Louis is absolutely the perfect skateboard city. They have really mellow hills everywhere. So it sucks to go up them obviously, but it's not as bad as like San Francisco. But they're like mellow enough that you can ride down all of them. Also those that have not been to the top of the arch, I would recommend that as well. Uh, it's pretty damn cool. I remember doing it as a kid. And I remember doing it while there was a uh, Cardinals baseball game going on. And it's pretty cool because you can actually see the game going on from the arts. So this Graham Cave State Park is two miles off the interstate. So it only takes about four or five minutes to get to, and then you gotta drive the four or five minutes to get back. 
10 minutes round trip and then three minute walk up and down six minutes 16 minutes 16 minutes i wish i could have got back because this place is kind of lame you might not be able to tell but this hill is so freaking steep but i'm gonna try and hit this corner real quick i know i'm gonna eat shit this time it's a backside turn my god yo i'm pretty sure if i would have started right there and ran a 40 it would have been a 179 at least oh my god that's gonna look so shitty on camera but i almost ate shit there's the board that's the board that's the hill that's the turn i didn't make so i just rewatched that clip before i'm getting in the car and everybody's gonna call me a wuss, but I challenge you, I will give anybody 50 bucks if they ever come to Missouri to Graham Cave Trail, go about a third of the way up that hill right there, and hit that turn the full way, and not eat shit. But if you eat shit, you'll meet 10 bucks. So that Graham Cave State Park was awful. It was terrible. I'll probably, I'm certain I'll never go back. What am I probably saying? But anyways, so it is a great place though to teach a life lesson and that is the fact that not everything is going to be six flags not everything's going to be the coolest thing you've ever done some things are going to be a letdown and that's obviously a letdown there but i think if you change the way you think and if you can make the absolute best out of a not so great situation like that place was like i said it was terrible but if you're able to turn something around and have fun i had probably that was the most fun i think i've had all day today is just running through there and then riding the skateboard and stuff like that but if you have the ability to make everything fun, then it, you're basically unstoppable. Hey, sorry to get all philosophical and spiritual on you guys, but now we can get back to the freaking waves, dude. We can freaking surf in Missouri, dude. I can't freaking wait. Cannot freaking wait for the waves, man. Thank you, little pussy cat. That was a real Just coming into the pits for a four tire change and some Sunoco race fuel. Yo, dickhead. Get out of my seat. Tell somebody to take it. My name is Perseus. My name is Perseus. My name is Perseus. Yeah, can I get a Coors Light, please? Damn, this place is so fucking sketchy. I really think I need to be sponsored by North Face because uh, I truly never stop exploring. A great time for a life lesson. Never stop doing things that frighten you. Never get comfortable. Because if I was comfortable, I never would have went and saw that. Because it's pretty wild looking from the outside, but just always keep exploring. Just keep doing the things that scare you.
see me or not, but I'm going to end today's vlog right here. I just left the Royals game in the 8th, trying to kind of beat traffic, and then I'm going to put some miles behind me and Kansas City, trying to start heading further west.